Ukrainian Armor, a Ukrainian company, announced that it is in negotiations with General Dynamics European Land Systems, DELS, to produce ASCOT Infantry Fighting Vehicles, IFVs, under license in Ukraine. The announcement was made by Vladislav Belba, the CEO of Ukrainian Army. The discussions also involved the Czechoslovak group as a possible third party in the deal. The Ascot IFV is a model developed jointly by Spain and Austria and is in service in both countries under the names Pizarro and Ulan, respectively. The UK also ordered around 600 units of the Ajax, which is based on the Ascot design, in 2014. The aim of the current negotiations is to supply IFVs to Ukraine as soon as possible, according to the announcement by Vladislav Belba, CEO of Ukrainian Armor. A delegation from the Ukrainian Armor Company, accompanied by Ukrainian military personnel and members of the Czech firm CSG Group, recently visited the Dell's SBS facilities in Spain. This visit is part of the search for a licensed production agreement for armored vehicles, such as the Ascot. The project currently under discussion provides for the collaboration of the Czech company and the Ukrainian firm to provide the key of armed forces with infantry fighting vehicles meeting NATO standards, as quickly as possible. This visit is part of the approach undertaken by Ukraine to localize the production of equipment necessary for our defense. This strategy was concretized by the organization of the First Defense Industries Forum, in which more than 250 manufacturers from 30 Western countries participated and during which around 20 agreements have already been signed. Companies such as Rainmetal and BAE Systems have also expressed their intention to collaborate with Ukrainian defense manufacturers. The ASCOD platform, using Canadian-designed SUSI CRT, composite rubber tracks, can be equipped with a variety of weapon systems, including 44 Malawian Quachas Bushmaster 30 40mm automatic cannons, 105mm or 120mm caliber turrets, and anti-tank guided missile mounts. The vehicle also has unique ballistic protection and counterprotection systems, meeting NATO standardization agreement, STANAG, 4569 Level 4 for ballistic protection and Level 4A-4B for counterprotection. We are discussing with General Dynamics European Land Systems the possibility of supplying ASCOTs to Ukraine as soon as possible, organizing the production and maintenance of the platform in Ukraine as soon as possible, and integrating advanced weapons, electronics, and communication systems to achieve operational compatibility with the armed forces and NATO, Belba explained in his announcement.